Gillespie is the ultimate dog dad. He and his adopted son, Rosenberg the dog, gained a lot of attention for sharing their matching outfits on social media. They even starred in a Sprint commercial, believe it or not. Well, this morning, the dynamic duo joins us to discuss their new book, Dog Dad, that releases today. And more, and oh my gosh, there's nothing better than dog kisses. Good morning. Thank you so much for having us. It's an honor. As you can see, we're proud to be Americans, Rosenberg and I, <laughs> since you're in D.C., wanted to make that very clear. Uh, we are really just spreading our message that animal companionship can do so much for people's emotional and mental health in ways that a lot of us, we might know that in theory, but maybe haven't experienced it in practice. And I was somebody who has gone through a lot of emotional problems, as we all have being human, when I was at the worst rock bottom of my life, when I thought I couldn't go on, Rosenberg came into my life, helped me understand that true happiness comes from giving to somebody else, in this case, his love, which was given back to me, which transformed my life and made me understand my happiness is through helping people, because I always help through animals, which is why I wrote a book with all the story, which is quite unbelievable, our journey with all of my profits going right to rescue an American humane. I wanted to put the, my money where my message was to really put a line out there for people to know they could pick it up and do good and help themselves and improve their lives through animal companionship. You know, I totally get it. I, I too, when I was going through the most difficult time in my life, I, I had my dog and I remember saying to my family, I'm like, you know what? My, I feel like my dog is the only thing that needs me, right? Like I need to come home every day from work because my dog needs me to feed her, right? And so she gave me purpose during that time. So I totally get it. But let's talk about this whole, I mean, but I never dress like my dog. <laughs> How did you know, that all start? The way start? we started that, it, it was very, very organic. Essentially, people kept saying when he was a little puppy that you look just like your dog. And I kept thinking to myself, but that's so flattering. I'm a human. He's he's a puppy. And after a while, somebody said, you, you have to dress like him. And at a certain point, I said, OK, I'll, I'll try it. it. Should be kitsch. And when I did that, a crowd started to follow all around us, which made kind of a bigger crowd, a crowd text a crowd. And it made people happy. And that was still when I was getting over the worst times I've ever had in my life. It made me happy to see people happy. And I knew it was spreading happiness. So we continued to do it and then found this community of dog people. And there's so many of us. And I think it's a commonality that brings us all together, whether you're any type of different background, politics, economic, culture, we all love dogs. It's a great bonding place. And part of the reason for that, I want to tell you my theory, it's because as humans, you know, we understand our mortality and that's really frightening. It's a harsh world. And once we understand that, it's quite hard to kind of put that, that back in the box. We kind of lose our innocence and animals, they always have that innocence. So being around them through osmosis, we could get a contact high back to that innocent place where we know no matter what happens, if they exist in the world and their beautiful purity, we know everything's gonna be okay. So it's a really big grounding place for us emotionally. And that's the larger meaning of it uh, is from, from what I've learned. And I wanted to spread that message as well. Tofer, we have to also let people know that through Rosenberg, you found your wife. You have two yes. beautiful children. Yeah, Tofer, I mean, uh, Rosenberg even has another four-legged sibling, Heaven, right? He sure does. So my portal to understanding myself was through helping him and him and his needs. And that kind of made me be a full person, which I really wasn't before. I was quite numb most of my life. And through that portal, I understood my own emotions and I was able to kind of give. And that's now what I've learned through that portal is, is giving in, in the form of giving myself to in a relationship as a father and obviously to these charitable efforts. So as far as I'm concerned, though, the, the fact that animals treat us all based on our love is a perfect example for us to treat other people. You know, they function on a love meritocracy. You know, <laughs> you know that's what we need to focus on right? in how, how we live our lives I, and to I, judge other people based on that, not anything else. Basically, how can we be more like our dog? What would our dog do? 
that is also a big part of the book as a guide. Yes, Topher, thank you so much. I love that in the letter to Rosenberg, right in the front of the book, you call him your love battery. There it is. Dog Dad is the book. You can get it now. And all the proceeds help support American Humane, which is all about rescue dogs. And there you can follow him. He's very, both of them, all six legs, very successful on social. Steve.